So today I'm going to buy a new car. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to buy a new car. And so I want to vlog the process of going to get it. This is like our third or fourth time being here. We just had to keep going back and forth trying to figure out the insurance and different things like that. But today I'm finally going to pick up the car and take it home. So I just wanted to record um, like me getting it and show you guys the inside of it. It's dark out, so I'm just gonna wait until tomorrow to officially show you guys. But I am so excited. Literally just got the car and yeah. Good morning guys. So. I just wanted to talk about why I got a new car. Basically, I had a 2009 Traverse because if you know me, I'm the type of person that will drive a used car for so long, like literally until the wheels fall off. So before I had my Traverse, which I literally just got, literally just got, um, I literally just got my 2009 Traverse in, I'd have to look, but probably like five months ago, six months ago. Anyways, I didn't know that the engines in those were usually bad. So I bought this car, my engine just went bad and I had no clue what to do because I had put all of my money into that car and I was just thinking I was gonna have that car for a very long time. And sadly that was not the case. And before that I had a 2000 Toyota Camry and Toyotas drive for so long, they're super reliable. So I had that, um, I wanna say like my senior, my senior year of high school all the way up until when I was pregnant with Kyron, so my second year of college. And the only reason I got rid of that was because I wanted to have something safe for Kyron to drive in. And I stopped driving that before I even had Kyron. And um, yeah, so I just didn't have a car for a little bit. And I was using my boyfriend at the time, my now husband. So I was using his car for a while. We were kind of just sharing and I was a stay at home. Well, I still am. I stayed at home with Kyron, so it wasn't like I had to go tons of places, but it still sucked. So I saved up and I got the Traverse. And like I said, the engine ended up going bad. And after that, I, like I said, I'm like a used car person. I'm the type that just wants to pay off a car, doesn't want to have a car, no, any of that. So after that happened with my Traverse, I was done with used cars. I was over it. And then after that happened, I had no clue where to go from there. I really wasn't thinking about buying a new car anytime soon. So I was considering leasing and then financing a car or something like that just because I wanted a new car and I didn't want to have issues anymore. I figured the money I put into like this car, just buying it is better than having problems with your car all the time, which I'm so used to having. So I ended up leasing this car, which I'm excited about. And I'm glad that I ended up leasing because I seen someone on Twitter, they said, do you lease cars or finance them? Or like, what do you guys do? And literally so many people said that they lease their cars. And I was just really nervous because I hate having car payments. And I was really stressed out about not having like a ton of money to save to just put down and buy a used car or anything like that. But I'm so thankful this worked out the way that it did. And God definitely blessed me because like I said, I didn't want a car payment, anything like that. But then um, I've been working towards getting more campaigns lately and things like that because that's like my source of income and god has definitely been blessing me lately there we go okay so anyways i've been working towards getting a lot more campaigns lately just because um just because that's my source of income and i really enjoy what i do with social media and stuff like that so because of the holiday season i ended up getting a lot more ads the past like two months and then i was like okay well holiday season is over so am i still going to be getting you know a good amount of ads and literally the same day when i was super stressed out and i was praying about what i was gonna do with my car i was just honestly getting really down about it because i was like i really don't want to get a brand new car but if god feels that i'm ready for a payment you know show me and I'll be ready. So I ended up getting a big campaign that day. Well, big for me. And it was just like a super simple campaign of something that I already planned on doing. And yeah, so I feel like God just really came through and provided for me on that and showed me that I'm ready for a car payment. I just have to be smart with my money and keep on working towards these campaigns and working towards building my social media platform. So I say all this to say that I'm so thankful for you guys. Like I have the best community on here on um, Instagram, TikTok, 
YouTube, you know, things like that. And I'm really thankful because this is something I've been wanting to do since high school. I'm not going into a long rant right now, but I'm just super thankful that this is even possible. My God always provides and I'm thankful for you guys for always being here and supporting me likes comments um when you guys subscribe or follow me on stuff it literally means so much and it really helps to provide for my family because this is what i do for my like career so i'm hoping that this is truly bringing in a lot this year it's not all about the money but it definitely makes a big uh, a big impact on our family and i really can't wait to see what this year brings because i have so much content that i have planned a lot of big things and I'm really excited to show you guys all. It just has to be a matter of me being consistent and not being lazy when it comes to things. So, you guys need to hold me accountable. So I'm gonna show you guys the inside of my car. Maybe when I get to Meyer, I have to go to the grocery store. But Kyron's car seat is already in here. It wasn't in here for a total of five seconds. But yeah, I'm about to go to the grocery store because we need stuff for the house. Oh, and another thing. This is good enough. So another thing really quick before I go. So something that I thought was funny was, like I said, I love having a used car that's reliable and not having to make car payments. So when I started to go look at cars at the dealership, I went to a Chevy dealership and he was like, well, what features do you want in your car that you're gonna lease? And like I said, I'm used to having old cars. And I was like, well, I really want like a backup camera and heated seats. And he was like, yeah, pretty much every new car comes with that stuff. So that just goes to show that I'm not used to having anything like that. So having heated seats and like a reverse camera and, um, and a remote start is so nice because I am not used to that at all. My old car literally had an aux cord still, so I didn't even have Bluetooth or anything like that. And definitely didn't have a screen in the car. So this is really exciting to me. I'm not a big person on like, new things or like super expensive things but i think that this is a great um a great thing that i need to have and it's going to keep parents safe in here keep you know just anyone who's riding in the car safe so i'm thankful and i'm excited to have this car and when i was recording just a second ago i was under my court my carport i cannot talk when i was recording before i was under my carport but now i'm at meyer about to run in and get some groceries it was a lot brighter it was super dark under there so the one thing that i do miss about having a traverse is having the third row seats because i just love having a lot of space but the leases for the traverses were super expensive and i was not doing that so i was not doing that paying that much for a lease for a traverse maybe eventually but for now this is good i don't need the third row yet i guess but um yeah, so that's the only thing that I miss. And I want to show you guys the inside of the car really quick, but I just don't want to be weird because I'm at Meyer. But whatever, I don't care. Absolutely love this car, my baby. What should I name it? And um, in Michigan, that's another reason why I got a good, reliable car because of the snow and everything like that. I hate driving in snow and just having a better car is nice to have because the roads are so bad. But I'm probably gonna start parking super far away. So this is just the front, simple. Yeah, but I don't really know what you guys wanna see in a car because I don't do car tours, so. Um, yeah, I don't, I really have no idea what to show you guys. So this is just like the front, you know, a little something simple. still have a lot of space but just not what I'm used to so the back I'll show you guys the trunk in a minute But I already know I'm gonna park super far away because I'm scared. I don't want anyone to mess this car up. I don't want anything to happen to it. Ugh, I just know how I am. So now I'm gonna have to walk super far into stores and stuff, but it's whatever. 